Hi, my name is Andrea Hunt. I'm the Executive Director here at the Calgary Wildlife Rehabilitation Society. Well, Quilomina, that's what we're calling her, came in last summer. Uh, she was a baby, she was an orphan, but the people who had had her before us had spent time touching her, interacting with her, feeding her by hand, and by the time she came to us, she was quite habituated. We thought we might be able to get her out of that by putting her in with two other porcupines that we had. And those porcupines have since been released. They released in the spring of this year. But she just never got out of those habituated habits and just was really interested in humans. Plus, she's very small. We're not sure why. It could be a metabolic disorder. We're still doing blood work to find out why. But she's a little bit too small and her quills haven't grown well enough for her to be releasable. So for all those reasons, we've decided to keep her and train her and put her into our education program uh, so that other people can learn about wildlife. Uh, she eats a lot of leafy greens and some vegetables. Her favorite is broccoli. Um, she also really likes dandelions, they're like a treat for her, a, a treat that we can give her without fattening her up too much. So she, she mostly eats leafy greens, but she also eats a lot of tree matter. So we put in trees for her, she eats bark, she eats leaves, she eats needles, that sort of thing. We're expecting her to transition easily into our education program. And if that happens, then she'll be going to schools once or twice a week, teaching kids about wildlife. So she'd be picked up by one of our educators, taken in a kennel to a school, put into some sort of contained area in the school, and then she'd be part of the education program that talks about porcupines, and talks about local wildlife, perhaps maybe about rodents as well. Well, the Calgary Wildlife Rehabilitation Society is a local nonprofit charity. We were established in 1993 with a mandate to rescue and rehabilitate injured and orphaned wildlife in Calgary and the surrounding areas. For people who are interested in getting involved, there's lots of different ways that people can help us out. Uh, one of the ways people can help us out, of course, is by donating money to our cause. Um, most of that money goes directly to the animal care. We have a very small administrative budget, so all that money goes directly to the care of the animals that we take in. We do take in over 2,000 animals every single year, so that's quite a lot of animals, and we're open 365 days a year. So, Other ways people can get involved is by volunteering with our organization. We have a very active volunteer program. People can come and help with animal care, they can do animal pickups, construction projects, education. We have a lot of different ways that people can help uh, our organization function.